This is a formal analysis of Ophelia. This presentation will be about the critical analysis of a famous painting known as Ophelia by John Everett Millais. In this painting, Millais uses elements such as color and implied texture to correctly portray Ophelia as she was written in Hamlet by Shakespeare. This painting is evaluated with formal theory by the use of criticism and the artist's use of art. This is a formal analysis of Ophelia. This presentation will be about the critical analysis of a famous painting known as Ophelia by John Everett Millais. In this painting, Millais uses elements such as color and applied texture to correctly portray Ophelia as she was written in Hamlet by Shakespeare. This painting is evaluated with formal theory by the use of criticism and the artist's use of principles based on another piece of art. This painting was created in July of 1851. It has been said by multiple critics that Ophelia shows the pre-Raphaelite style at its best. The materials used to create Ophelia were oil paints and a paintbrush. The original piece was nearly 3 by 4. This 2D painting is representational because of the real-life objects that are included such as nature and a human based off of character in a play. Some elements of design that are included are horizontal lines that represent the water moving and the still body floating in the water. There are warm colors used to depict the brightness of nature around Ophelia. There is implied texture of the water, the tree and leaves, and the design on the dress. Ophelia, also known as the once love of Hamlet, was seen as pure and wholehearted as depicted in the vast amounts of flowers and nature surrounded by her and on her dress. Her beauty is shown through the gold on her dress, as the most rich were seen as the most beautiful. Her soft skin and gaze make her look more vulnerable and fragile as she is decaying in an area of growth. This painting is mythological and historical because of the fact that it was based off a of play written by Shakespeare. Hamlet is a mythological tale based off of ancient Greek mythology including certain creatures and people. Ophelia had a large cultural impact on art during the 1850s because of the significance of the nature used. This painting was not designed as a commission, but it was later sold multiple times. There are multiple principles of design used in this piece, but the most obvious one is the emphasis placed on Ophelia in the center of the painting. There is a variety in the colors and shapes used, but they all come together in unity to create the environment of this painting. The directional forces leading horizontally help the picture come to life by making it seem as though she's moving down the stream and how the tree has fallen, symbolizing decay in nature as well. There are multiple different kinds of lines used, but the vertical lines symbol growth in the nature surrounding the decay depicted through horizontal lines. The shapes of the flowers and leaves portray the beauty of Ophelia. The golden colors of the painting symbolize innocence and purity in who she once was. There is not an interpreted meaning of this painting, but rather an actual one. This painting is a story of Hamlet and his lover. Hamlet murdered Ophelia's father, causing her to fall into a deep depression and eventually drowning herself in the stream. The meaning is expressed through her lifeless body flowing through the water and through the previously discussed elements of design. This piece received the same reaction as intended. The painting aroused the sympathy and tenderness of viewers. The title is not quite as significant because it is just the name of the woman in the painting. This theory is the most important to evaluating the piece of art because it utilizes most, principle of most principles of design and the elements of design. In relation to the time period that it was created in, it is not an outstanding piece to the public because it was just a visual, visual representation of a previous work. All the parts of this piece contribute to the whole. Each bit of nature, such as the flowers, contribute to the meaning of purity. There is not too much or too little emotion created by this piece. 
Ophelia does not follow the contextual theory as much as it does the formal theory, but it still checks most of the requirements off the list. Though this piece of art did not serve the interests of the church or the state, it served the interest of the people. This painting raises awareness and humanity for how sad this character story truly is in Hamlet because of the fact that she committed suicide. This work follows the expressive theory because it has the power to create immense emotions in the viewers along with being able to communicate meanings of major significance behind this piece. By looking at this painting, the viewer is able to generate emotions before knowing that the artist intended for feelings to be aroused. The most efficient theory used to evaluate this painting would be the formal theory because of how it falls in line with the requirements of the elements and principles of design. The relationship of the parts to the whole and the unity of the work is correct to formal critics. The amount of emotion created and pleasure from the objects in the piece are perfect to the formal analysis of the painting. This is a widely known piece that has a deeper meaning than what is originally assumed. Each individual bit of this painting has a greater significance showing the vulnerability of Ophelia trying to persuade the viewers that she didn't deserve to die. Malaeus used elements such as color and applied texture to correctly portray Ophelia as she was written in Hamlet by Shakespeare. This painting is criticized through formal theory through describing the elements of design utilized to portray another piece of artwork. And here are the sites. These sites were a great resource of the history of this piece and how it shows the elements and principles of design to portray the deeper meaning. These sites were a great resource for the history of this piece because they go in depth of how the principles and elements of design tie into the deeper meaning of how Ophelia was really portrayed in not only this piece, but also Hamlet. Thank you.